Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Leo. Alright, so I'm just going to do a nine card across, and then we'll add the, uh, the Oracle cards and the After Tarot. Is another one flipped over there. Mm, no. <laughs> All right, for Leo. Okay, so we have a little bit of trouble coming in here. Somebody thought it was too risky, maybe some shady ass behavior when it comes to their Ten of Cups. Somebody wants to fight for this though. They've been patient, felt it was too risky. Shady behavior with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Something's coming to an end here and there's some healing. Hmm, let's see. What's your intuition telling you? Oh, this is somebody from your past. Can you tell me something else about this? Hmm. Somebody wants to work on this or is working oh, on their legacy here. This may be you. This may be your person. It seems like everything's kind of maybe a little too <laughs> turned here. Let's see. Okay. Somebody's working on their legacy. This is someone from their past, from your past. Let's see. Well, let's see what comes up for you. Leo, what's this Knight of Swords here? Ah, fork in the road. Okay, so there's a decision being made here when it comes to this. Let's see, what about the temperance? Mm, feeling like it's round and round. Too risky, karmic cycle. Somebody's wanting to mend something here. What about the shady ass behavior? Somebody just wants peace. They want to change here with the number five. They just want to be happy, happy, find their ten of cups. They're looking for their ten of cups. They're building their legacy here with the blessing of financial blessing here. Hmm. Somebody from the past. Yeah, somebody is blessed. Somebody's coming in for this blessing. Somebody wants to do this by the book. There's an ending here, which only brings new beginnings. So let's see here. What is this? Yeah, time to go. <laughs> towards your, this is towards fulfillment here, mending something. This is a feminine I might be talking to, or this is somebody you want to mend things with, a feminine here. What's this fork in the road here? That somebody wants to come forward. Ooh, has to do with passion. Somebody's very passionate about you. What's this round and round here? Ah, it's something to do with somebody's perception. Just hasn't been able to change their perception. Ah, they need to mend something here. Some grief of some sort here. I'm just gonna crop these out of the way. And put those there. And we'll get to the after tarot in a minute. Okay, so what's this piece then? What are we doing about this piece? Hmm. Somebody feels it's perfect to have that peace. Just looking for some peace of mind, peace in their energy, or peace in their surroundings. Let's see here. What's this happy, happy? It's in the heart of the reading. Huh. Ah, this is creating some beautiful ton of cups here. 
Maybe manifesting here. Ooh, this is a miracle. Beautiful. Some type of renewal, blessed blessing. Ah, by the books, somebody's full of themselves here with the vanity card. Somebody has to accept it's time to go. Yeah, and this may be a prayer in disguise. Like this might be something that is for you. Let's see, what's the passion and fork in the road? Goddess of the moon, number seven here. Seven. That's reflecting on something, assessing how much passion and a decision. Maybe the perception of going around and around with somebody here. This might be somebody that wants a change here with the number five. This is a temperance angel, perhaps. You may see you as that. What's the grief and the mending here? Oh, trying to make that indec this indecision, that fork in the road is here. They're taking a long time to try to figure out. They feel like it's too risky. Maybe there's generational wealth here. Yeah. This may be somebody that's a healer. What's this creation here? Hmm, the thinking woman. So it could be this woman here, this feminine energy I'm feeling. What's this miracle? Financial constraints. So this might be a miracle to build something to get you out of some type of financial constraints that have been in here. This is to build stability here. Arrest and rejuvenating, renewal, being blessed. Something's at an end here. What do we got? Yeah, there's some deceit here with this. Number seven, somebody's assessing this deceit here. Let's see, what is this death card? An acceptance. Yeah, there's a victory here. It's time to go. Number ten, it's, it's over, done with. Whatever this is, you've already put it to bed third chakra so this is your solar plexus this is your confidence this is your clear feeling your knowing self your self-belief this is that gut feeling of knowing that something's over here with the number 10 knowing it and oh we have twin flame your passion ignites now this could be a twin flame all twin flames don't necessarily get together it's one of the harder relationships because you see yourself in each other and the things that you do like and the things that you don't like. They reflect back to you in yourself and in that person. It's important right now to take a step back and spend time alone instead of pay, placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to self. So let's see here. Yeah, you're reflecting on something. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And romance, Cupid arrow, strikes. Even though there's some... This is maybe a soulmate. This, there could be two here. There's twin flame and a soulmate. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. We did see somebody from the past here. So a new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So rejuven rejuvenate, renewal, and you will get your blessing. Yeah, you're going to heal something here. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this moment. And maybe trust is a huge thing for you. I'm feeling with this transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. 
So perhaps you're not willing to see something from the past here. Wanting to heal something from the past. Acceptance is the key, the inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change which is beyond our control. So this is Spirit's way of saying, you know, I'm. this is what's coming in and it's faded here. Let's see. You might be doing some service, doing something that you're your purpose I'm getting. What's the goddess of the moon, the passion, and the fork in the road? Ah, yeah, you're feeling gratitude here. Thankful for the life and the opportunity it presents. What is this caring connection? Hmm. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So, you may be reflecting on a caring connection here. Your perception, and you might be going around and around in your mind. You've been patient, and you're, I feel like you're just going with the flow here. What's this transformation? Judgment. Okay. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So this indecision, there's some grief here, wanting to mend something, but feeling it may be too risky to come in. Yeah, somebody's health may be... Um, here. I will honor my physical vessel that enriches my soul. So looking after their body, humor, somebody's not going to take it too seriously. Somebody's pretty happy here, maybe because they're on their own. Well, I'm going to leave that for the next one here. Yeah, self-esteem. So this may have hit your self-esteem something along the lines here. Um, but you have the power to walk away. You are not, there's always a back door, no matter what the situation is. And then we have adversary. So I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So somebody may challenge you when it comes to something here. Maybe taking a stand towards you, maybe fighting with you <laughs> or for you. Let's see. Yeah, there's death here. I am learning the endings are merely beginnings. Because there's just too much deceit. There's vanity. And you're healing. And you put an end to this, whatever this is. You've, you're trusting that your happiness will come with this victory when it's time to go. Not all people are able to come with you on your journey. Yeah, you don't need to doubt. You don't need to know all the answers either. So... A spirit's way of saying, you know, don't worry about things. I'm taking care of it. Let's see, what is this gratitude for Leo? This one, please, spirit. What is the gratitude? This one wants to come. Ah, being able to release whatever this is that's uh, got this hold um, maybe on you or this person. This could be somebody coming in just to mess up whatever's supposed to be coming in for a blessing here especially this financial and somebody might play on your um, self-esteem or try to yeah you have that inner peace wanting that inner peace it's about somebody's perception of you and you're at peace you may have already released this person yeah you're getting that success and somebody's not liking that they want to mend stuff because they maybe judged you wrong You've transformed, and they may have thought you're too risky, but you're building your um, pentacles here. I'm getting that your uh, legacy, building a legacy, maybe for chil your children or your grandchildren, or maybe you don't have children, but you're building your legacy nevertheless. Now, you know you don't have to be perfect. You're at peace. You're a healer. You honor your vessel. And you trust. So we're going to find out what this Seven of Swords is. Yeah, you've got courage too to walk away if you have to. You're happy kind of as you are right now. You're going to take action though when it comes to building something here. You've got the power. <laughs> this is what I'm kind of getting that song. It's an old song. Um, I got the power. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but it's that 
freedom yeah you're gonna end this out and gain your freedom once again and you're gonna be diligent because you're not going to go back to something I feel like you're soaring high above the clouds when it comes to somebody from the past maybe you transform something from the past maybe you have some forgiveness here yeah you're flexible you're not I feel like you're kind of go with the flow you're not really too serious about anything at this point and if it becomes serious I feel like you're just there's too many risky things here I feel like somebody might just be coming back because you're doing well financially you may they may be putting something on you there there's action here on your self-esteem your financial constraints but you're still getting your miracle you're still building this up somebody might be trying to throw magic your way trying to keep you down yeah you're staying optimistic and this person that may be coming in too um, it, it's almost like they're charging ahead and seizing the moment here to come in so yeah there may have been a separation between this caring connection that you maybe once had the perception was just that it, maybe it was a karmic um, I feel like you felt it was your perception on it was that it was a karmic cycle that you were just going around and around and around learning the same thing or this person wasn't learning what they needed to learn your finances are a factor in your love life right now and that may be why um, they may have judged you about your success and maybe your career hadn't started to take off yet maybe you just started your business I'm feeling a business here yeah maybe you're now wanting to mend this because they've seen you transform they may have thought it was too risky at the time yeah there may have been some codependency here now this could have been on your end or this could have been their end and I feel like it may have even affected your health or theirs I feel like that codependency it was unexpected and maybe that's what this seven of swords is no it says there's deception here deception when it comes to this ten of cups somebody didn't want you to be happy it looks like and you're <laughs> you see the lighter side of everything you're not you're not so serious where you're angry all the time or anything like that I, in fact I feel like you're reverse that I think that bother somebody because they wear a mask and they and they you don't have to yeah you deserve love I feel like you're taking action on your self-esteem to get yourself out of this I feel like you're able to there's a change here like you've you've been able to transmute something here or you're not it's not affecting you whatever this is that they're trying to put on you I feel like it's it's not affecting you you've done something here there's that transforming here and you it, it's like you know who you are it's like maybe you didn't know who you were before it's a uh, how do I get how do I say that um, let's get another car yeah for yourself you know what you have to do here you're you're protected I feel like you know how to protect from an um, adversity here and, and you take the time to rest and renew I feel like you call back your power the power card here you call back all your power your love your your courage your faith you call that all back to you and make yourself whole again every day you call that back if you if you put things out in other people or like if you're around other people and your energy is kind of it's almost like you have that barrier between you and this person like you're in that orb of white light and they're unable to penetrate your energy and whatever you do when you get home like you cleanse cancel and delete or transmute or whatever it is you're doing yeah you got that freedom here there's a retreat here you you disconnect from the world I feel like you need that alone time especially for that that freedom to do what you need yeah you 
you can see right through this person. I feel like, like you have a gift here of being able to yeah, heal yourself. Yeah, exactly what I'm talking about. Like you can, it's like you heal your energy. Um, oops, sorry. <laughs> I hit my camera here or my computer. Okay, let's see. What's the next card? Oh, reconciliation. Okay, there's a victory here. You're going to trust whatever... It's time to go, and you've accepted something. Someone from your past is returning to your life, and it looks like you may walk away from somebody just to have your past come back. Another person from your past possibly here. There might be two people here. Yeah, trust the situation's calling for you to have faith. Wow, being flexible and don't doubt what's coming in for you. Something's going on here. Let's see. What does Spirit want to tell Leo? What does Spirit want to tell Leo? You are a goddess. You, I knew I was talking to a feminine here. Express your divine femininity, your energy, embracing the magical intuition and nurturing qualities. So you definitely have that. You are a goddess. I could really feel something. Yeah, your ascendant masters are here. Now, you may have been guided out of this. They may have told you, look, this person cannot come with you. Not everybody can, uh, even though you want to. Ah, oh, look at that. That cancel, clear, and delete came out. I could feel that you were um, doing something here. And I feel like your ascendant masters, your spirit guides, or whoever you're able to connect with here is kind of protecting you in this way let's see yeah you're an earth angel you may be an earth sign a capricorn virgo or um taurus you're a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love and you may be very loving and somebody might feel like your kindness and your the beauty that you have within you that shine like it's a weakness that they can prey on you with this deception here. But you have a lot of courage, more than this person realizes. You have a strong bond with the fairies, and your life purpose involves helping how the, how Mother Nature. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> wow. I knew there was a twin flame and a soulmate, because we did have a soulmate here somewhere. Um, and there is a twin flame as well. So there is <laughs> your the answer to your question involves spiritual based romantic relationships so you have a soulmate maybe from the past and there's a twin flame now this could be somebody new coming in or this could be somebody from the past let's look past life issue so it could be somebody from your past life now maybe this lifetime or times before this this situation is based uh, has a basis of one of the previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from the past experience. And you freed yourself. So I feel like you you may just be able to do that. And you may be an indigo child, which is, I feel like 1950s to 1990s is the indigo children. Um, then we have the, is it the crystal children? to 2000 and then it's the rainbow children from then on so we have a power power animal your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you in this situation so you may have an animal in and around you or connected to you in some way shape or form that is going to help you yeah as a guardian to you to help you in this situation now, you may not have this animal yet, but it, you may end up getting it, or it may be somebody you know, their animal, or something along those lines. Vacuum away fear. Call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift your fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. Beautiful. Okay. So, let's just see now what we have for your after tarot, Leo. See what these cards are all about when we get to this. So, we have this Knight of Swords, somebody charging in, charging ahead. 
Impulsive Adventure, Impulsive Action, with Courage here. What is this? Please sit. Thank you. They're wanting equal give and take here, being generous, or maybe they feel you're generous. We have the Temperance Angel here, which we already knew, which is another symbol for the Earth Angel, which was kind of confirmed right here with the Earth Angel. What's this Temperance Angel here? Give me a card. Ah, there's a small offer here. And I feel like it's a small offer because they may have self-love here or you're looking at your self-love they may be taking a cue from you yeah you might be helping tear down some walls here they feel it's too risky here so somebody might be helping them build these walls up they don't want you to come forward that could be what this deceit is somebody might be trying to keep you from your person or this person from you it's a seven yeah, this person has you in their sights. Now, they're targeting you, um, maybe trying to come forward to do something that affects your Ten of Cups, your person, the person that you see as your Ten of Cups or are waiting. I don't want to say waiting. Yeah, maybe you're waiting. You're being patient. Let's put it that way. Now, that does not necessarily mean you're waiting necessarily. You might be knowing it's coming, you're in the flow, you're ready to receive. And that's a little different than waiting, putting your life on hold. I feel like you're still living your life just fine. You're doing you, your loving self. You have that self-esteem here. Yeah, you've walked away from somebody here. And you're working on this blessing that you've got here. You've walked away from a twin flame here. Not all twin flames, like I said, get together. But this is a spiritually based... Yeah, you're getting... I feel like you are getting blessed here with some recognition. You're healing. I feel like you're healing these past life issues here. Now... You're still healing here, and then we have the healing here as well with the hermit. You might be in your house a lot more, not going out, not putting yourself out there too much because you're still healing things from the past. You might still be doing that dark night of the soul. Yeah, you're adapting. Your ships are coming in, though. This is coming in with the chariot, so and you, you can see that your ships are here. So people are arriving. Things are happening here. What's this death card here? Yeah, somebody else. I knew there was two people here. So it looks like you've adapted. You've walked away from one offer here that had deceit behind it. And you're ending another one out here as well. Or, yeah, that could be. Yeah, you put it to bed. You've already put it to bed, I feel. Like you, this person may have come back again. So it may have been a second time they came back. Now, what's this reconciliation? This might be somebody else from your past. Yeah, somebody that wants to have a passionate new beginning with you. What is this passionate new beginning? Yeah, it's coming in for you. Can you give me one more? Mm. Somebody might get caught in the act of doing something shady here. Uh, and then they're going to fumble with this offer. What is this? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, this is somebody that may have dumped out your cup, went to someone else and gave an offer. Lovers is here, though. Hmm could be your soulmate or this could be that twin flame although it looks like you walked away from a twin flame already you were separated from somebody shady as well what's with all the shady people here they you must really shine um you're very uh magnetic i'm kind of getting and a lot of people respect you and want to flock to you i feel like People are going out of their way to try to make you look bad or because they're being rejected. And so they're kind of trying to wipe the floor with your name. 
and it's just it's it's an insecurity on their part what what is the lovers yeah you're giving yourself love yeah and your healing self i feel like you may have this time to go and you might be just working on self you're not worried about this person you've already ended this out time to go leaving it alone you're doing yourself love let me get one more here yeah you got the courage and the strength you got a lot of major arcanas here at the end which i feel like is a major factor we have the gemini we have chariot which is the uh, cancer and then the strength which is leo so we have wow a gemini cancer leo season here and we're just getting into leo season so hmm we've just started that not too long ago give me one more card why is this here okay so you're very confident you're determined you're self-assured you're not you're not worrying about anything you may be tying up loose ends here because every ending has a new beginning here whatever this was here from the past i feel like you're putting that to bed too i don't feel yeah because somebody gets caught in the act doing something maybe you let this person in essentially and they prove to be deceptive as well hmm. let's look at the bottom of the deck yeah it's a competition there's a competition somebody feels like they're in the position of advantage here they may have tried to manifest you in here yeah and they may need to tell you a truth here now that may be why you walk away hmm my my leo uh you got a few people maybe depending on where you are in this timeline this mess <laughs> that's what essentially it looks like right now but there you thought this person loved you they may have poured out your cup here they got caught in the act giving someone else a cup here you've you've given yourself a cup I feel like you've ended out the cycle. You're very beautiful, confident, self-assured, and maybe even started your own business here. Yeah. I feel like it was kind of all about the Ten of Pentacles here. You know what you're working on. That's just somebody from your past, right? There's a competition too. So there, one might be a person that you thought was your person and it ends up being that they aren't but you might need to trust spirit that this person needs to tell some truth here and it might be about this and you may just decide i'm not i'm not about that anymore or i'm not in that energy that's i'm not that person anymore or i'm not you had the wrong idea about me all along kind of energy that I'm kind of getting I was always like this but I feel like you're always like this but people's perception of you is they judged you by your cover your vessel instead of what was inside they were judging you on your outer appearance and perhaps you're very nice looking with the queen of wants here so a lot of people were envious and jealous maybe you always stole the spotlight whenever you walked into a room you're pretty and you're beautiful and you're beautiful inside and out and people um, can't compete with that so then they just throw your name in the mud and say bullshit about you and it's funny how people believe crap like that and for me i usually say look i'll find out for myself thanks for the warning though you know i'll keep that in mind but i 
I don't just follow everybody. I lead. I'll find out for myself whether I like this person or not. You know, I don't, I don't let other people judge people and decide for me who I am going to like and who I'm not going to like. And that's kind of, if, if somebody has a problem that I can't be friends with somebody else because of what they felt they had done wrong to somebody else, then, I mean, yeah, there's loyalty to friends and stuff, but where do you draw the line? This could be somebody that's really good for you. And it's jealousy on their part. So they're trying to control the narrative. They're trying to control where you go now. And it's like, how about people concentrate on their own life and worry about what they're doing instead of worrying about what everybody else is doing? You know, and I feel that's that misconception of where that judging comes in. <laughs> but don't let people make you doubt yourself. You're very flexible. I feel like you're very kind of happy-go-lucky kind of person. And you do trust spirit, so you have that faith. And any fear that you have, I feel like you, you don't let that show. And I don't even feel like it really affects you much. You may be feeling, um, if you're still going through the dark night of the soul, you might be crying a little bit but letting release all that releasing it because that's going to help you heal right yeah you have that knowing of that gut feeling of what you need to do I feel like you have gifts a lot of gifts you're an earth angel so you're a light worker here anyway Leo there's some really great things here um because they're learning curves and this may be not that you're needing to learn something but the person that's coming in needs to learn something here okay so and it might be both the people that come in might be trying to come in but they may need to learn a lesson from you perhaps losing you is going to let them realize that they're not appreciating people the way they should be and not that that weakness they're kind of essentially saying here um, and you're not weak at all in fact you're quite strong and people underestimate you I feel like you give them enough rope and they <laughs> they end up hanging themselves here by the choices they make I feel like you're quite accommodating and likable and that's the problem You've got a lot going on for you, and people may not like that. But you just hand out the rope, and they essentially hang themselves with it. Because I don't feel like you've done anything wrong here. you are They're preying on your self-esteem, trying to make you feel less than, and make you doubt yourself, make you doubt your own... I'm getting that they're trying to make you doubt your inner voice. They're <laughs> unreal. Wow. And don't don't let that happen. Listen to your intuition. They're trying to make you doubt your intuition here. And I feel like you know what you need to do here, Leo. All right, you guys, that's what I have for you. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you want to donate, you can donate in the box below, the description box below with the PayPal account. Just click on that. It'll take you right to PayPal. Or you can do the super thanks or just watching the videos is thanks enough. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, you guys, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. Later.